All right, hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm showing you some of these really amazing magical hacks, keyboard shortcuts, tips, and tricks in Canva. So Canva is a graphic design tool and all educators can get access to Canva, staff and students alike, and leverage some of the premium features for free at no charge to you. You can set this up, your Google admin can get it going. So in my district, you should be able to sign in using your BCSE Google account. And when you're in, Canva has tons, really thousands upon even millions of templates and resources that you can leverage for a variety of reasons. One of the features I'm going to show you today are some that are related to the presentation or slideshow creation feature in Canva. So if you haven't checked out the templates in Canva, strongly recommend it. And if you want to learn some really cool things to spice up your slideshows, then this is the video for you. So I have a presentation already good to go. I presented it at a conference and I'm just gonna walk you through some of the different keyboard shortcuts that you can use to make your animations and your slides really fun for students and to add some flair. And note that if your students build slideshows in Canva, they have these animations and keyboard shortcuts available to them as well. So first thing I need to do is be in a presentation and then I need to go into present mode for these keyboard shortcuts to work. So the first one I'm gonna show you is confetti rain so it's just the letter c you don't have to hold any other buttons just the letter c it's so crazy. how amazing is that next one is the letter d is in dog and that is a drum roll so how about that you know maybe you're recognizing students student of the week student of the month you do that as a drum roll before you announce that student and their accomplishments m mic drop so maybe if a student does something amazing in class, it's a great answer, then you just have a blank slide up and then do that mic drop, they would absolutely love that. The letter O, floating bubbles. So maybe like thinking bubbles or a way to get students back on topic or focus. Letter Q is great for students to quiet down, have that visual reminder is a Q uh, for being quiet. Um, the letter U does a curtain call which is kind of cool if you want to add that in maybe before a presentation starts, you have it pulled up or after a presentation and then it opens. How about that? If you want to have a little bit of an element of surprise in your presentation, the letter B is in boy. If I do that, it blurs my slides. So then my students can't see what I'm doing. If I'm thinking about this with my students, I might do this as a way to preview a topic, to build some suspense or maybe it's a break point to get them to pause and reflect before we move on. If you click B again, brings it back to life and normal. Other numbers and pieces here to know, if you enter a number one through nine, it opens a timer on your screen as well. So if I do two instead, I can just keep adding. I can do nine minutes. Really cool. And then I, there's not keyboard shortcuts for this, but I can add volume and music controls to that as well. If I don't want that timer to be up there again, I just press the number uh, again, and it gets rid of it. So one, one minute, so on and so forth. Other buttons that might be helpful if you do control alt G, it opens up a view here at the bottom where I can type in what slide I want to jump to. So if I needed to jump to this slide, I could do that. And again, that's just control alt G. I hold all of it at the same time and it does it. So this isn't necessarily a keyboard shortcut, but is something kind of cool to know is that you can set up your Canva presentations to where you can use a remote control to go through your presentations. So if I'm in a pinch, if I'm presenting somewhere and maybe my clicker batteries die or run low, I can actually use my phone to run my presentation if I wanted to, or someone else in the room could be doing that if I wanted. I don't necessarily know why I would do that, but it is an option. So I need to be in present mode like I am right now. And at the bottom of my screen, there's a more button all right, and what I'll do is share remote control. And what I'll do is it pulls up this little QR code. I scan it with my phone if I need to, or I can copy the link. I can also pause control of this at any point in time. But again, it allows me to move through my presentation. So I'm using my phone right now. I'm not clicking anything on my computer and I'm going through. And if I need to pause that, we're good. I can hide this again if I need to. So that's just a really cool hack in Canva in addition to those slideshow pieces. Another one of my favorite and newest obsessions in Canva is the Canva Live feature. So this allows you to have interactive Q&A sessions while you're delivering a Canva presentation. 
So in the conference where I presented this slide deck, uh, you could certainly use this as more of a Q&A type of feature in Canva, but I actually used it to have people share ideas and resources throughout my session. And it just turns into this long thread where people can ask questions, share their ideas, share links and things that they love, and they can thumbs up those, and I can see all that happening in real time. So if I'm in my Canva presentation mode, again, it's just in presentation mode, across the bottom, there's this interactive Q&A with Canva Live. And what I'll do is start a new session. If I never end this session, then it stays active. So this could go on for a while if I need to. And what's really cool is that it keeps a QR code here at the top of the screen, or they could enter in this code at Canva Live, and it works just like that. So I'm going to scan it now on my device so you can see what it looks like when someone interacts with it. But I absolutely love this for adding in the opportunity to ask questions, to share resources, to share answers, all of that. And what's really cool is that students can see all of those coming in. Um, so here's an example of one. I just typed that out. Right now I have it set as anonymous. Um, but if I wanted to put my name, I could certainly add that as my comment. I can display this bigger if I want to. So it takes up the whole screen. If I want to highlight that question and address it with the students, I can like it. But it just turns into this thread over here on this left-hand side. And let's say that we're moving on. We're done with this Q&A section for now, but we're going to come back to it. Then I just hide. And at any point in time, I need that to be pulled back up again. I can go to the bottom of my screen and pull it up there. I can do show. And it shows them how to join again. And we can see those comments come in. So I have used this a couple times in presentations now at conferences, and it's gone really, really well, and people have loved it. So I would certainly recommend checking this out as well as some of these other Canva pieces because they're amazing and so much fun. And I hope you love using this tool as much as I do. If you have any questions, let me know and have fun designing in Canva.